Greetings, my spooky friend. You have dared to click and enter. Now let's get those bones off the table and do some drawing. I absolutely love Halloween, so I want to show you how you can draw something quite spooky in just 10 simple steps. So let's get started. I'll show you what we need. We'll need fine liners, a thicker and a thinner one. I've got 0 0.5 and 0 0.3. We're going to need an eraser, preferably a kneadable one. We're going to need some charcoal, some soft stick charcoal, and some black ink and a brush. And to top it all off, we're going to need a charcoal pencil and red, orange, yellow colored pencils. So let's get started with step one. We're going to draw some grass with our fine liner just in the middle of the page, drawing little squiggles. Step two, we're going to add some pumpkins. So pumpkins have ridges. So we're going to draw a wavy line at the top. And for the eyes, we're just going to do two C shapes. And then we'll add the ridges. Next is a little smaller pumpkin with a bit of a scary face. And then we'll draw another one with a bit of a shocked face like the one on the far left. Now step three, we're gonna add a window. Here we go, just a square and little diagonal lines and another square on the inside so we create some depth. Step number four, we're going to draw some bricks that you can see from the decaying wall. So all you have to do is draw a shape and then draw the bricks inside and then draw some squiggly lines all around to show that it's kind of crumbling and coming off. So I'm going to add a couple of more of these in different spaces down here behind the pumpkins. And then step five, we're going to add a plant and some cobweb. So here we go and add the plant to the left of our window. Just a simple potted plant made out of some circles and straight lines, nothing too fancy, just a little bushy. So it takes up some space on that side. Now we're gonna add the cobweb, just drawing some slightly curved lines from the center outward and then connect the spaces in between with some just random irregular lines. The more random, the better. And then we switch over to our 0.3 millimeter, the thinner fine liner, and just draw small little lines downward to give the cobweb a bit of a frayed look. Now on the other side, we're gonna switch back to the thicker fine liner. We're gonna draw a cobweb stretching over the entire right side from top to bottom using the same technique. The random lines between the curved long lines and the frayed edges. Then we're going to add one more little detail and that is some dead flowers in the foreground. So just draw some flowers with their head down and a couple of crunched and crumbled up leaves. And we have reached step six. We are going inside. Now this is the most spooky bit of the drawing. Let's do it. So we want to draw a hand inside our window. So start by drawing a circle and then the fingers. And we also want to include the lower arm, which is sort of a very flat and squished triangle shape. So we're gonna add another set of arms on the other side. They are pointing inward slightly, the hands pointing towards each other. Then grab your soft charcoal stick and we're going to sketch in the shape of a person connecting the arms and letting the center of the person be a little bit darker. And then we shade in the outer edges of the window, smudging the chalk with your fingers a little bit. And then we're off to step seven, adding black. So grab your fine liner again, best to use the thicker one. You just wanna fill in the spaces around the bricks that we created in black. And it doesn't matter if a little bit of white shines through, it looks really good if it's a little bit sort of squiggly. And we are off to step eight, 
adding some shading. So grab your soft charcoal stick again and we're going to get messy. Just get it all around your page and smudge it in with your fingers. And then use the stick to add a bit more definition to the windows, just the outer edges. And then you can use the kneaded eraser to lift off some highlights. And then we'll add with our soft charcoal stick some shadow behind the cobweb that makes it really pop. And we'll also add some shadow on the foreground to our plant here and a little bit of darker detail with the charcoal pencil that's a little bit darker than the, than the stick. And then we'll add some more shadows here, especially on our pumpkins. So we'll give them a bit of a gray base and feel free to smudge with your fingers. That's always good. And then at the bottom, we use our charcoal pencil to get in a little bit of a darker shade and also in the ridges. And if you like, you can again lift off some of the charcoal with a kneaded eraser to create some highlights on the pumpkins. Now a little more definition for our window on the outside. And here we go, step nine, we're gonna add extra spookiness. With your yellow colored pencil, color in the eyes and mouths of the pumpkins. And next use the orange to go around the edges there. And then grab your red pencil and we'll draw some blood dripping down from the windowsill onto the pumpkin onto the ground. Now step 10, on the dark side, grab your ink and brush and we're going even darker. Go all the way around your drawing and make sure the inside edges are rounded. Then grab your charcoal stick and we're gonna create a nice gradient blending that very dark ink area into the more gray area of our image. Using your fingers, getting messy again but that's half the fun, am I right? So looking at the video, I realized that on camera, that orange yellow glow doesn't really come out. So I used a little bit of digital enhancement so you can see what it's really supposed to look like. I hope you had fun drawing this spooky scene with me. If you want to draw some more, then come on over, visit me on Skillshare. You get one month free with the link in the description below. Hop on over to my channel and subscribe for more Halloween spooky fun. I'm definitely going to do another spooky video. Have a lovely day and happy Halloween. Bye-bye. Bye.